How's it going guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Kenneth and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. So we do a lot of travel videos here and for today it's gonna be different though. So I'm gonna share to you that um, we start, me, my friend and I started this company called Out of Focus Films and we like to um, cooperate with people with ordinary people with pretty much extraordinary passions. So the first episode is now out, so I'm gonna go play it after this intro. Um, the series is gonna be called This Is My Story. So I'm pretty, pretty much excited for you guys to see it. And hopefully you guys like it and learn from this ordinary people, how they follow their passions no matter what. So I'm excited, so without further ado, here's the video. My name is Jonathan McGee, and this is my story. I'm from Star City, Arkansas. I've lived there my entire life until I enlisted in the Air Force and left, so about 18, 19 years. There's a lot of woods around, so, you know, hiking. Uh, I was big into Boy Scouts, so uh, out, outdoor stuff a lot. When I was younger, um, I tried a couple of team sports, you know, soccer, baseball, the normal stuff like that, but I had to be at practice, so uh, that's kind of when I discovered skateboarding. My mom was a probation officer, uh, so it wasn't really good for a skater. She knew all of the police, she knew the judge, you know, so that was kind of tough. Um, my dad was a firefighter and uh, he did four years in the military and then he got out and then moved back to Arkansas and did 30 years at civil service as a fire chief. The military has been a part of my family um, for as long as I can remember. My grandfather on my mother's side served in the Navy in World War II. Growing up, one of my all-time idols was Rodney Mullen. Um, just because I connected with him so much, he was from a small town in Florida, Gainesville. Actually, about a week ago I had the enormous pleasure of actually meeting Rodney Mullen and uh, getting to tell him what that meant to me. There's several levels, uh, uh, there's several lessons in perseverance, um, learning to, you know, take the fall and learn to get back up and it almost has a little bit of like a textbook Webster's Dictionary of Insanity you know you keep trying things over and over and expecting a different outcome but the thing is is you will eventually get a different outcome you know you spend so much time on a trick eventually it will click and you'll have that aha moment okay it's the foot placement it's the pressure it's you know the balance something like that it's the same way with life the, the feeling of the flick you know the anticipation of the rotation whatever you're doing and then just that feel whenever you land and roll away and it's so crazy because so much time and effort goes into something that only lasts maybe two seconds. Uh, I enlisted in the Air Force April 6, 2009. So I met my wife on Facebook believe it or not. And whenever I tell people that, it's actually, I get a lot of the, hmm? And the way her side of the story goes is she was just bored one night. She was looking on his Facebook, uh, mutual friends, you know, fr or friends of friends, you know, like recommended friends. And she says that she was just scrolling through, saw a handsome guy and was like, hey, click the ad button. Because next thing I know, uh, you know, I'm getting a message from her just like, oh, hey, how do you know Aaron? And you're like, oh, he's my, you know, di long, di my distant cousin, you know, and so it just kind of took off from there. And um, it's kind of crazy how we ended up meeting. And then uh, I ended up joining the military and we had that long distance relationship all the way until 2011, whenever we were married. We do have a son. Uh, his name is Emerson. Uh, he was born 16, September 25th, 2016, so he'll be three years old this September. So right now I currently work at the uh, inbound cargo TMO section of the 96 LRS here on Eglin Air Force Base. In layman's terms, what that pretty much means is, is that we receive uh, aircraft parts for the different kinds of aircraft that the Air Force has. Um, Hurricane Michael, you know, uh, wiped out a lot of uh, territory uh, west of where we are, or east of where we are, excuse me. And so uh, Tyndall Air Force Base pretty much got flattened, so we have absorbed a lot of their mission. The biggest thing that I've taken in from the Air Force is 
I don't know if this would be the best answer, but probably maturity. It was crazy once I enlisted in the military and went to basic training, it just all of a sudden hit me like, I'm not at my mom and dad's house anymore, this is all me. I would say the Air Force and I encourage any younger person looking to kind of take that path that it will allow you to grow and to mature in a controlled environment. Everybody's gonna move from these dots over here to these dots over here, understood? Yes, sir! Y'all really gonna make me mad tonight, understood? Yes, sir! You better sound off like you know how to sound off, understood? Yes, sir! I'm used to heights, you know, even if I fall, like you kind of, you kind of naturally, instinctively learn how to fall. That's, that's actually one of the big lessons, big takeaway from skateboarding is you actually do learn how to fall. You learn how to hit and roll so that you don't just completely hurt yourself. So um, that would be one takeaway, but also from a, uh, I guess a higher level of thinking goes back to like the perseverance, you know, it, it all just depends on how bad you want it. You uh, really just kind of have to use your own good judgment and say, what am I ready to do? My advice would be you, you have to follow your own heart. You have to follow what you know is correct. Around November of last year, November of 2018, uh, I got picked up to uh, skate for the Water Boys team. Uh, they're a, sh a shop, local shop out of Pensacola. Riding for Water Boys is really good. It feels good to actually like be a part of like something bigger. The one thing that I'm grateful for is, um, I would probably have to say my uh, relationship with Christ. The direction that uh, being a Christian has taken me and really following in faith, um, and that, that transcends just about everything. You know, just His hand of protection on me and His hand of guidance. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm, you know, a perfect person by any means out of glory, because it definitely isn't me. There's nothing special about me, but, but with uh, Christ that lives in me. My name is Jonathan McGee, and that's my story.